Hi, my name is Kathy Machado and I work for the Santa Clara Valley Water District. I have a water conservation story for you today called Teach a Mouse to Save Water. First, we're going to look at a little vocabulary. One of the words in our story is inspector, water inspector. The inspector works for the Santa Clara Valley Water District and he may come to your home to do a water wise house call. What does that mean? Well, he'll come and he'll bring you a free timer to put in your shower. Hopefully you'll set it for five minutes and take a short shower to save water. He also might bring you a low flow shower head. The average shower head puts out two and a half gallons per minute. A low flow shower head saves water by only putting out two gallons per minute. In a five minute shower, you save two and a half gallons of water. That's quite a bit. It also has a little button on it that you can press that stops the water. So if you get in the shower and get wet and then press the button, that's when you soap up. You don't need the water running when you're soaping up. When you're all soaped up, press the button again. It starts the water at the same temperature and you rinse off. You've saved a lot of water if you use a low flow shower head. Our next word is aerator. An aerator looks like this. It's a small device that you can screw onto the end of a faucet. That also saves water. And of course, faucet is where you screw it onto. Our next word is flapper. Inside the toilet, we've got the tank and the bowl. When you press the handle, it pulls the flapper up and releases the water to rinse out the bowl. Now, when you release the handle, the flapper is supposed to flap back down. Sometimes that doesn't happen. You have to jiggle the handle a little bit. Did you ever have to do that? I've had to do that. Sometimes even if you jiggle the handle, it won't flap down. That's when you need to call a plumber, get a new flapper, or call the water district and get a free flapper. Native plants. Native plants are those plants that grow naturally in a particular area. A non-native plant is a plant that someone has brought in from somewhere else. Usually non-native plants have not adapted to the water supply. So native plants here in California use less water and therefore make a better plant to put in your yard to save water. Mulch. You see the little uh, wood chips around this uh, plant? That's called mulch and they help keep the moisture by the plant. Very good idea for saving water. A drip system is another way to save water. It brings the water directly to each plant. So a drip system is a valuable thing to have in your garden. I think we're ready for our story teach a mouse to save water. If you teach a mouse to save water, first he will tell you he already saves. I turn off the water whenever I shave. I take short showers. I stop every leak. To see me save water, will you come take a peek? Hooray! The mouse saves water every day. Then He'll want a water inspector to come to his house who'll check everything after meeting this mouse. A low flow shower head, they'll both install. Put aerators on faucets, that is not all. Open the tank on the toilet and replace the flapper. The mouse will even help take off the wrapper. Hooray, the mouse saves water every day. The inspector has more suggestions for him the mouse likes to listen. Each one is a gem. The inspector said, take a five minute shower, I do request. A timer may help you to do your best. The inspector will check the washer and dryer. Energy Star is what he'll require. The mouse might have to go to a store to buy new appliances. These he'll adore. Then the water heater the mouse will help check. If it is leaking, he will say, Heck, he'll have to replace it, it isn't cheap. But to save water, no price is too steep. Hooray, the mouse saves water every day. Then out in the garden, he finds places to save. Native plants aren't so thirsty, they like to behave. Mulch in the garden helps quench a plant's thirst. He soon finds non-natives are really the worst. They need lots of water to stay alive. If he makes better choices, his garden will thrive. 
The mouse soon learns that his lawn must go. It needs so much water to make it grow. He'll replace it with flowers and plenty of rocks, a vegetable garden in a large box. Hooray! The mouse saves water every day. Of course, the inspector has more to suggest. If you want to save water, it is a long quest. The inspector said, water in the morning before it's too late. Install a drip system. I think it's first rate. Driveways and walkways, I hope you will sweep. And cover your pool. I know it's not cheap. Hooray! The mouse saves water every day. Chances are, if you teach a mouse to save water, he will want to teach everyone that he meets. The mouse said, you can save water, I know that it's true. I plan to save water, and so can you. I find ways to save water every day. A water-wise plan starts you on your way. Hooray, hooray, the mouse saves water every day. We too can save water, let's start today. Hooray, hooray, let's start today. Okay, let's sing to teach a mouse to save water. Save water a mouse will do if you sweetly ask him to. Low flow shower head he'll install. Fix his faucet, that's not all. He'll make a plan just to show how every day he slows the flow. Can you join me? Save water a mouse will do if you sweetly ask him to. Low flow shower head he'll install. Fix his faucet, that's not all. He'll make a plan just to show how every day he slows the flow. How every day he slows the flow.